Hi guys, I'm kicking off the vlog at the med spa today because I'm getting my third and final microneedling treatment. If you've been keeping up, I've been on a skincare journey, I'd say the last few months, probably last four to six months or so, I've been doing microneedling and PRP with chemical peels in between the treatments. So this is the last one and it's supposed to really help with acne scars and fading the appearance of my acne scars because when I was in high school and a little bit into college as well, like my freshman, sophomore year of college, I dealt with really bad acne. Me. I never went on Accutane or anything, but my skin broke out like crazy and I couldn't identify it. I think looking back, a lot of it was hormonal acne at the time and just growing up, being a teenager and everything, going through just the process of being a woman and hormones and all of that. And it really affected me and left like mild acne scars, enough to make me want to target them and diminish their appearance. So that's what I've been doing. And I've definitely noticed a difference in my overall like texture of my skin doing these treatments. My Microneedling has been incredible. If you have the opportunity to do it, I would recommend it 100%. I think I might do two more treatments as well after this um, because it's like at a 7 out of 10 of where I would like it to be and it has definitely improved significantly. I also want to like stay up to date on hydrofacials and incorporate those into my routine and regimen. Yes, it's definitely an expense, but I think it's one of those things that it is incredibly worth it and it's like a self-care thing that makes you feel really really good it's like going to the gym you know and it's truly going to benefit your skin and all of that so i go to elevate med spa in tampa and i see lauren my esthetician and i love her so we're gonna go in get the third and final treatment and there requires um like three days of downtime usually like up to three days three days is definitely like the max but for the next 24 hours i have to be super cautious of um, my skin and i have to wash my pillowcase my bed sheets i totally forgot about that yeah so i have to do that when i get back home and everything and all of that because your skin is like so open and it's like very very exposed because essentially microneedling is poking a bunch of little holes into your skin so that it can regenerate a new layer of collagen to promote like a new skin barrier essentially so yeah but we're gonna go in and get the third treatment on your pillowcase tonight avoid bodies of water for five days fragrance free moisturizer We just finished up microneedling and honestly my skin feels really really good compared to the first couple times I got it done but for the next 72 hours I really got a baby and care for my skin because essentially there's a bunch of little holes in my skin but I'm gonna head over to the nail salon and get this nail touched up because I just got my nails done the other day and the tippy part of my pinky chipped off so I want to get that repainted and then also I need to head to the post office and then I'm gonna go to Lululemon because I got this super cute Defined jacket. I honestly got this weeks ago, but I think I want to get it cropped. I didn't know that they had a cropped version available, so I'm going to exchange it to see if I can get the cropped one instead because I really like this color. It's literally the identical thing I'm wearing right now, but the Defined jacket because I freaking love those. But if it's cropped, I definitely will wear it more often. So I'm going to go check that out. But yeah, first stop is going to be the nail salon. I just finished up all the chores and everything around my apartment. Now I'm gonna get to doing some work and editing. But of course I need an Olipop. I went to Costco the other day and completely restocked my Olipop drawer. Look at this. Like that is beauty. I don't know what flavor to do. Maybe we'll do the orange. I've been loving the orange flavor. It's so good. But I'm gonna get to work on my laptop and anytime I do editing, whether I'm editing like YouTube video or TikToks, I like to use my walking pad. This has been the biggest game changer ever. Honestly, I've probably used it 
nearly every other day within the last month of having it best purchase and it was around like 200 bucks on amazon i'll link the exact one that i use down below but i love it because it's like not too noisy and it actually goes pretty fast it goes to like three miles an hour or like three and a half i think so i'm like low-key speed walking but i don't usually do that while i work i usually have it at like 2.3 or two and a half i'm trying to find a little remote for it because it comes with the remote and that's how you oh it's right here that's how you control the speed and turn it on and off and everything so i freaking love it but yeah little to-do list on my planner and i'm going to get to work for a couple hours Take a second to acknowledge that froth so good this creamer gives the best foam to your coffee super creamer sweet cream cold brew or sweet cream creamer so good usually i don't like to get to work first things first in the morning you guys know i like to settle into my morning and have a slower morning like that's usually why i like to get up pretty early so that i don't have to rush into work right away but today i have quite a few things going on and there's a lot of things that i want to post early this morning i have a tiktok that i want to go live because it's like a little bit of a morning routine so i'm gonna post that and then i need to edit my podcast episode so that that can go live early tomorrow morning i'll probably post it tonight at midnight like have it scheduled for then so i prefer to have my podcast episodes go live so that you guys can listen to them in the morning like on your way to work or on your morning walk or anything just so that it's like motivating and inspiring like that's when i like to listen to podcasts personally or if i'm doing like laundry or cleaning around my apartment that's when i'll typically pop on a podcast which reminds me i want to find some new podcast podcasters to listen to so if you have any recommendations please let me know because i'm in that area right now where pretty much all i listen to are podcasts and i like a mix between like motivational but also entertainment but we're gonna finish up making the to do to do list this morning words are hard words are hard because the coffee has not been finished <laughs> okay i'm gonna just do this and then i'll talk to you guys okay okay to let some light in. I'm gonna clean up my room a little bit, make my bed and everything this morning before I like sit down and get work done for the day. Cause I just need to have like a clean space to operate in. Otherwise I just feel too chaotic in the head. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. I need to charge my AirPods already. Like 10, 15. I'm like this morning is flying away from me, but I love a good busy morning because then that means tonight I can chill and I won't be working super late. I migrated over to my couch because I just need to lay down. I feel like it's been hours since I last vlogged. I've been sitting at my kitchen counter doing editing. So nothing very exciting at all. But I just posted a TikTok, which I did a different style of editing to this TikTok. And I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. I don't know. Like, do you guys like the ASMR TikToks? Or do you like the ones that go with music? Because if I did an ASMR one, I would post this. Otherwise, there's this one. But I'm feeling this vibe is more like ASMR. These are things that go through my head when I work. 
but you guys give the best feedback i was asking for feedback on things you want to see more in my vlogs and how the vlogs were feeling repetitive but honestly i feel like they are getting less at least in my eyes i don't feel as though they're as routine as they used to be because i've been kind of getting out of my routine a little bit and i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that i finally feel out of my funky rut that i was in which is what the podcast that i'm editing right now is all about it's just how i've gotten out of the rut and embracing those plateaus in life where you're kind of just feeling stagnant and maybe you feel a little stuck like those moments are always when you're on the brink of like change and the brink of something that's really good and so close to happening so anyways hopefully you guys tune in and listen to that also it's funny because one of my or like my favorite like my lucky numbers are always two 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 and i always see those and recently i've been seeing it like heavy i'm talking four to five five to six times a day i see two 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 and i'd like text my sister because she's really into all that stuff and i'm like what does it mean right now in my life me seeing two 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 i'm a gemini what does it mean sister she always knows literally everything like what what you're feeling in your sign because of the moon and like i don't know she's so intelligent with that when i was in my funky little rut she's like you'll be out of it soon it's just a very emotional time right now for gemini's like she's just really getting into it and i loved it because i don't really know a lot of that stuff but she's smart with it anyways i'm going to finish up editing the podcast i'll probably get a big chunk of it done because I was working on a YouTube video instead of podcast a little bit earlier but I think in about like 40 minutes I'm gonna head out to Orange Theory I'm gonna do the strength class instead of the regular 60 minute because I looked up the template and I prefer the style of the strength class because I haven't been doing a lot of cardio in my routine anyways just because I have found that if I do any kind of running at Orange Theory and stay consistent with it I lose muscle and like my booty shrinks and that's that's the opposite of what I need. I just got ready for Orange Theory. I'm just popping on my sneakers. These are the sneakers that I always wear anytime I do strength training, but today I'm not gonna do the like typical Orange Theory workout. I'm gonna do the Strength 50 class, and that's at 415 because I prefer to do that instead of the days that are like heavy on the treadmill, and today's one of those days where the focus is more on the cardio side of things, but I'm in the mood to like lift weights today, okay? Like I wanna definitely get my workout and all of that in through weightlifting instead of cardio because that's kind of been my focus these last few months this is usually what i have i like the amino lean pre-workout this is the berry elixir flavor this is probably to be completely honest not my favorite flavor i don't love it kind of tastes like medicine a little bit i'm gonna do that shake it up and head on out this is my little workout fit today sports bra aloe matching leggings of course and then my Nike sneakers and we are out the door baby let's do it Just finished up my walk that was such a long solid walk i ended up going for 3.43 miles that's long for me okay plus it's kind of humid out today but i felt so good now i need to blast my ac i'm gonna go home and make a salmon salad for dinner tonight i took out salmon earlier because i'm like that sounds so incredibly good for dinner and i need to lay in bed i just want to be horizontal right now Okay, my arms are so heavy because today was arms at Orange Theory and it was like continuous reps and like back-to-back -back work So it really burnt out my arms, but it was such a solid workout and then my walk kind of killed the lower body So we're like ready to be horizontal and lay down. What was I gonna say? Oh, also I started listening to my old Spotify playlists and that takes me back I love like some of the old playlists I've made. I have one called late nights and it's like very vibey relaxed 
rap, if that makes sense. Like, it's not R&B, but it's not like super intense, heavy type of rap. It's just such a vibe, and I literally miss that music so much. It put me in the best mood ever. I was listening to it on my way to my workout, and then on my walk, and I was like, wait, this is such a freaking, whoa. That always happens. I was like, this is such a freaking vibe and I loved it. So maybe I'll be on my old music wave. Got dinner started, here's the salmon. That's gonna cook for about like eight more minutes or so. I need to flip it. And then in the air fryer I have Brussels sprouts and broccoli and the bed of greens. And then I'm gonna put some peppers over top. I totally forgot to pickle onions today. Otherwise I love adding pickled onions to my salads. It's so good. And then I'm gonna top it with some balsamic vinaigrette. This is the finished salad. I know it doesn't look the best. Presentation is probably like a four out of 10, but that's because I managed to burn the shit out of my veggies every single time. But I love like crisp Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's my favorite, so I don't care that they're burnt, but such a simple go-to salad. I love it. I'm so excited. I just opened this book. I ordered it the other day off of Amazon and I can't remember for the life of me what podcast I was listening to where they kept referencing this book. To be honest, it was probably The Skinny Confidential if I had to guess, but it's by Peter Hollins or he was like a guest on an episode that I listened to. I don't know. Anyhow, I ended up ordering this off of Amazon. I'm so intrigued to read it because I love these kind of self-help books, but also I am somebody that lives a very disciplined lifestyle. So I want to read this just to bring to light like the different day-to-day -day habits or things that I do in my life that help me stay disciplined because I think I've just been conditioned to live the way that I do through how I was raised and everything. And it's hard for me to answer the question of how I live such a disciplined or motivated life sometimes because I don't really know <laughs> like I think I have just become so conditioned to my habits and my routine that I don't really remember like anything before how I live right now so reading this will probably bring to light the different things that I do in my life that I can share with you guys in like a podcast episode or something everything about discipline and motivation and to honestly achieve the life that you dream of because it's possible and it's doable you honestly just have to be a discipline and motivation can get you places but discipline will get you where you exactly want to be and I believe that like wholeheartedly I definitely want to do a whole podcast episode kind of like differentiating the two because it's easy to get them confused but discipline is huge so I can leave this book link down below for you guys if you're on the hunt for like a good solid self-help type of book I think it's time to whip out the Sherpa belt bag I don't care if these are not in style anymore I freaking love it it is fall it's cozy out so it is time for all things Sherpa I freaking love Sherpa material like when they came out with this Lulu belt bag oh girl I freaked out a little bit I got so excited so we're bringing it back but I'm gonna head out to Costco right now I need to get gas and then I went to Costco the other day and they were pretty much out of everything that I wanted to get for groceries. So it ended up being quite a fail. So hopefully today we can make a comeback and get a couple of the things that I need. But I'm more so just going there because I need to fill up my cart with gas and then possibly run the Target because there's a Target right next door to there and I need to get toilet bowl cleaner, sink cleaner and I think dishwasher pods. Wow, that sounds so adult. That's like a very boring Target run.
We've got packages galore. I'm gonna do an unboxing because we got quite a few exciting things here. Most of it is PR. There is one gift that my mom got me, so I'll unpackage that as well. But I have not gotten my mail <laughs> in probably like, oh my gosh, this is bad, but two weeks. So that's my fault. This is from the brand Orgade. They sent over some skincare. Let's see what they sent. I do love some skincare. They sent over their Purifying Face Polish. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. I don't have an exfoliator in my routine right now just because my skin has been pretty sensitive recently and I wanted to try an exfoliator that would really help out my skin and just like really make it feel resurfaced and everything. Then they sent over some sheet masks and a ultra deep cleansing oil. So excited to try those out. And then True Botanical sent over some skincare. I've actually used their skincare before. I used their resurfacing mask right now and I'm obsessed with it. It's so good for the skin, especially right now because I'm dealing with breakouts a little more than usual. <laughs> I feel like that's been the theme of this vlog. It's just skin. But you know what? That's my personality trait right now because it's what I'm dealing with. Everything rescue bomb. Oh, sounds like a moisturizer. That'll be fun to try. This next package is from the brand Burst. I always get so excited when I get PR. Like it just blows my mind that companies care to send me stuff and it feels like Christmas every single time. But anything that I don't use, I always give to my family or friends. My mom always freaks out whenever I gift her stuff. Like she'll come down to Florida and just raid my, um, I almost said my pantry. <laughs> she'll raid my bathroom um, cabinets and just like go through all my products and literally like steal stuff. Well, it's not stealing because I give her permission, but it's just funny because she goes crazy. Oh wow, first sent over a bunch of different products. This is like a drugstore um, skincare brand. I've seen this at Target. I've used a few of their things before too, and I like it. Uh, they sent over this gentle retinol serum, a moisturizing cream, some eye cream, clarifying serum, and the Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. I actually used to use this in college all the time, so that's funny. So thank you. And then the last PR package before I get into what my mom gave me is from the brand Vegamore. I'm so dang excited to try out this stuff. It's hair care and it's so funny because I was literally just talking about this brand with my mom. I saw a bunch of their products at Sephora and my mom is obsessed with hair health. She's been trying to find different products that will really help out her hair because she does color her hair quite often. And I've heard so many good things about this brand. And they sent over. Oh my gosh. It always just means the world when brands take the time to like write out your name and send you a card. It's like way too personal. I love it. But they sent over some goodies. Oh my goodness. I might have to give my mom some of these things because I know she'll freak out. Oh my gosh, the hair serum. I've heard a million people rave about this. Oh my God, I'm about to get like a best daughter of the year award for this. Yeah, they sent over a couple of their hair serums, which I think is their top selling product, if I'm not mistaken. That's at least what I, or how I heard about the brand was through that. And then lastly, they sent the conditioner and the shampoo, these little travel size. Ah, excited to try those out. And lastly, my mom sent me this ring as a gift and her and I are absolutely obsessed with David Yearman jewelry. It's one of my favorite jewelers and he has just such beautiful pieces. And so for my birthday, my mom got me this and it took a while to actually come because we wanted to get the exact one in stock that I wanted. So finally, we got our hands on it. I'm so excited about it. It's absolutely gorgeous. We were looking at it when I was home in Minnesota. Got it from Nordstrom. It is like the most gorgeous ring ever and I thought it would look so pretty with my typical jewelry stack because I get a lot of my rings from David Yearman. Majority of my rings are from David Yearman and my typical stack and then a few are from Orate. But it looks so dang pretty. I love it. But yeah, that's my haul. I'm gonna clean everything up, put everything away, and then my girlfriends are actually coming over in just a little bit. We're going to make pizzas tonight or pasta, we don't really know yet. And just have like a very chill night in because it's Friday and we're all like, we just need to hang and see each other because it's been a minute since we've all had time off and been able to make our schedules work and like all have been in town and not busy. And I love that. Nothing beats like a chill girls night in, so. That's the plan for tonight. We're here with the girls. We're having a little pasta night tonight. Nothing beats a Friday night in. We're all in our sweats and we're chilling. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> this is 
This is huge. This is Costco size. Yeah. yeah. She said. She got the, the family size. Yeah. She said, uh, the family's being fed tonight. The family's being fed. Hannah and I just went over to Trader Joe's. Got some chicken meatballs, oregazzoni, and then I'm gonna make my gluten free noodles because I'm high maintenance. <laughs> Shaved parmesan and then some tomato basil. And then it's gonna be dinner. Super quick and simple. And we also got some cookies, but we're catching up because we haven't seen each other in literally forever. I was telling you vlogging, like, I don't remember the last time. Yeah. That we've like all been in town, not busy with work. Mm -hmm. Just some working ladies over here. Some Grinding. girl boss in a little too close to the sun. Girl boss in too close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lost track of time. <laughs> I've never had a dirty martini because they're gross. They're gross. It's straight up vodka and all this. Lauren, I'd get yours in it, but it looks so scary. <laughs> I, I know. Mine kind of looks scary too. I messed it up. We declared that this is going to be a new tradition. It is. Cooking with Lauren. Madison needs to learn how to cook. So. <laughs> this was a super simple meal. Yeah. We're starting with the basics. But I know mine looks so gross right. with the gluten-free noodles. But these are so good. Mm -hmm. 